All right, everybody, update. Uh, had the same problem uh, as in the previous clip, you know, the last clip. And I woke up this morning thinking about it, and I figured out why it's doing what it's doing. The, uh, the back end of the cylinder holds more fluid, so when you retract the rod, it's pumping out a whole lot more fluid, which is causing it to overflow. And considering you should have your return flow into the sump, under the fluid level, and this setup didn't have that, it has it going into the filler neck, it's aerating into the filler neck, and when it gets that extra punch of fluid from the back side of the cylinder when it's retracting, it's just too much and causes it to overflow. I went and picked up this, uh, I think it's a five gallon tank, I, I went and salvaged this off of another splitter I got laying around, but I think I'm going to use this big tank. So I'm going to go ahead and dismantle this whole thing, cut it apart. Um, this tank's got two inch and a half ports on the bottom of it, which I think will work better for what I'm doing. I'll, pump, I'll uh, use a, a union to plug it into one port right into that tank, and then I'll use the other one for the return flow coming from the, uh, from, from the valve. Yeah, so lots of fun to be had. Just like that. Hey everybody, welcome back. Yesterday was kind of a frustrating day. Uh, got some stuff done, found out some other issues. Uh, started today off, I swear it's like uh, star date number 9738645342 of working on the log splitter. Uh, but hit up the hydraulic shop this morning, got all the plumbing and the fittings, the hoses for the dump valve, so we'll get that installed today. And uh, let me show you what we got finished up yesterday and some of the issues we ran into. So we got the pump, or not the pump, sorry, the, uh, the new sump, or the additional sump taken off. Got all the fittings found and cleaned up for uh, the union that I'm going to mount it on. I already got the union mounted on the actual original tank. This part worked out good and I'm going to rig up a little bit of a stand here which I'll show you later to help support the big tank. Um, probably going to swap out this filter for the bigger filter. What I did run into though was this guy down here. This fitting that I had welded up in one of the other episodes started leaking it's hard to see but so I drained the tank again f uh, flooded it with argon again and welded it up filled it back up last night and it's leaking again there, yeah right there you can see that wet spot and there's another one on this side same thing so I'm gonna do a little testing here yeah so it's up here down here and over there so I'm going to do a little testing because it's still pretty much full. And I'm going to see if uh, it's really all that dangerous just to weld when it's got fluid in it. I'm going to take just like an inch and a half cap, like uh, one of these. I'm going to fill it with fluid and then just start frying it up with the welder and see if that does anything. See if it, excuse me, see if it ignites. If it does not, I'm just going to keep welding. The tank weld seems to be doing good. I didn't have any issues yet. I don't see any wet spots up here. Extra hard to see with the camera, but... I've looked over it several times in the past hour and a half, and I'm not seeing nothing. So I'm fairly confident that that's good. I don't know if that fitting right there is going to leak at all. It doesn't seem to be. Because right now the fluid level is only about 
I don't know, right here in this tank. So once it fills up completely, I don't know if the added pressure is going to make a difference. Just from weight, not actual pressure. So now I'm going to clean up this filter, see if it's any good at all. And uh, then I'll be mounting the big tank and then plumbing the, uh, the return lines. All right, it's uh, the day after yesterday. I uh, stayed up till, or stayed out here until 9-ish working on this thing, and it's basically together now. Uh, there's only one fitting I'm not 100% sure about. Uh, I didn't even test it last night. I wanted to give t the, uh, the pipe dope time to dry overnight and settle a little bit. didn't know better I'd say that dump valve was hooked up backwards I'm gonna dig into it a little bit and get right back with you all right well never trust anybody else I always verify why so after looking at the two schematics one of the dump valve itself and the labeling of the ports. See, they don't have any verbiage on here or a key as to what these numbers or letters are, <clears throat> which I don't know why. But uh, he had given me this, and obviously it's not right. But looking at the two different diagrams, there's only one way that this can go. Theoretically, we'll see, but I think we got it right now. Haven't tried it yet, so let's get after it. Not a hydraulic guy. Thought I had it figured out. Dang it. I'm going to tinker with it and look at these schematics some more and see what I missed. All right, everybody. I think we may have actually gotten it. Just got off the phone with a nice guy, Ryan. Uh, if you're watching, Ryan, thanks. I uh, appreciate it. Uh, it looks like I had the, uh, well, it doesn't look like. I did have the dump valve plumbed completely incorrectly. The schematics were not right. Let's see here. So... I had the dump valve coming out of the regen valve into the dump valve and then back to the tank when it's supposed to come right off the selector valve. So now the selector valve is plumbed straight into the dump valve, which then comes back into a T over here that goes back to the uh, back end of the cylinder. And then when you're retracting, <clears throat> it somehow or another senses it. Now I didn't really notice a difference. I did crank it up a few minutes ago. It doesn't see, I don't know, maybe there's just air in the system. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe there's just an adjustment on it, but uh, it is actually working forward and backwards now. So now I'm going to go ahead and run this uh, pile of lumber through it and see what it, see, uh, see how it works. We'll do a couple timed uh, out and backs first just to get an idea of what we're looking at.
Well, I'll look at the uh, timing here in a little bit when I do the video editing and see how long that took, but decent little stack and it went real quick. Well, I think it's ready for work. It only took a couple weeks. Hopefully it saves me a couple weeks in time. At least over the next year or two it will, I'm sure. Eventually, I'll get around to building a, uh, a log lift. And then uh, maybe I'll switch the ends around and just put a pusher plate here and an adjustable, you know, like a four-way. Uh, but we'll see. That's down the road. Now that I know I got the power for it, the upgraded pump. Well, I think that's going to conclude uh, episode three or four or five or whatever we're on. Figure that out when we get to it. Thanks for watching, everybody. This, is, uh, this has been a, a tough project for sure. Um, if I didn't have buckets and bins and totes full of random stuff laying around with, you know, fittings and uh, black pipe and couplers and galvanized pipe. I don't, I don't think it would have been worth it. You know, I've got about probably three k or two, uh, two k into this entire project. That's you know the purchase of the unit, then the upgraded engine, the upgraded pump, the regen valve, the dump valve, all the hosings to be made. I mean, we're. $200 in hydraulic fluid alone. I got about 20 gallons in there and it's 50 bucks a jug right now. But, uh, you know, that along with welding, you know, I've said it before that uh, rework is harder than uh, original fabrication. In this case, it definitely proved true. Yeah, I had a, a good frame to start with, but so much of it I had to tear down and rebuild and redo and fix. Uh, but I think. I think we're definitely usable. Now I'm going to get out there and actually split some wood and see how she holds up. But again, hey, thanks for watching. Uh, I invite you to like and subscribe. Uh, I opted for one more modification before I actually get to work out here. What a difference that makes. Now, to get all that turned into that.